What is shutter speed? While it may seem like the answer is obvious, there's more to shutter speed than meets the eye. Let's take a closer look. Shutter speed is one of the three pillars of photography, the other two being ISO and aperture. Also known as exposure time, shutter speed is defined as the length of time the image sensor in a camera is exposed to incoming light. Before we go more in depth, however, let's take a look at the different parts of the camera that contribute to taking a photo. In a standard DSLR, when you press the shutter button, a mirror flips up, allowing light to pass into the camera instead of the viewfinder. Once the mirror is flipped upwards, a small door will move from top to bottom, exposing the sensor beneath. After that, another door will fall down, covering up the entire sensor. After the second door closes, your mirror will fall back into place. The doors will then reset to their original positions underneath. The longer the shutter is kept open, the more light will enter the camera. In auto mode, cameras will meter the scene and determine an adequate shutter speed to keep the picture from becoming either over or underexposed. You can manually change the shutter speed by either putting the camera in shutter priority mode, which will let you change shutter speed, letting the camera calculate ISO and aperture, or full manual mode, which gives you full control over all your camera settings. Shutter speeds are measured in fractions of a second when under one second. For example, 1 over 4 displayed on the camera means the shutter speed is 1 fourth a second, whereas 1 over 250 means the shutter speed is 1 250th of a second. Most cameras can handle shutter speeds as fast as 1 4,000th of a second, or sometimes even as high as 1 8,000th of a second, and shutter speeds as long as 30 seconds. Longer shutter speeds can be achieved using a function known as bulb mode, where the shutter speed is determined by the length of time the shutter button is activated, either manually or through a remote trigger. It's good to know what effects different shutter speeds have, as it can affect the type of picture produced. Short shutter speeds, often quicker than 1 1,000th of a second, are fast enough to capture the fast movement of wildlife and sports, and freeze water droplets and small particles. For everyday photography, shutter speeds around 1 100th of a second are fast enough to keep subjects from blurring. If you're shooting handheld, longer shutter speeds may also cause your shaky hands to blur the photo. Newer lenses from most manufacturers have attempted to solve this problem by introducing vibration reduction technology into lenses to correct for minor shakes. Night photography will often utilize longer shutter speeds to capture as much light as possible. Shutter speeds as long as 20 or 30 seconds may even be used to take pictures of the Milky Way. Knowing the principles of shutter speed will allow you to make better decisions about how you want your picture to look, whether you're freezing the action, creating a time warp effect, letting in little light, or as much as you can. Though it's a very basic concept of photography, it is no less important than making a fantastic photo. Stay subscribed to Apple Apps for more animations about photography released every month, and stay notified by clicking on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.